Hello and welcome to this edition of QLogic's Make IO Matter video series for HP. Today's topic, we're going to focus in on how Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters can provide performance advantages in legacy SAN environments. So you have an approved project to upgrade the data center with HP's industry-leading ProLiant Gen 9 servers. The challenge is that the current budget approved only applies to the servers being upgraded and none of the infrastructure or storage devices can be upgraded at this time. And some of the servers are connected to shared storage via a fiber channel SAN, and that SAN infrastructure is currently 8 gig fiber channel switching technology. The storage is a combination of both 4 gig and 8 gig fiber channel storage targets. So the question is, what kind of fiber channel adapters do we add to our Gen 9 server configurations? Well, the answer seems obvious. Since the SAN is an 8 gig fiber channel SAN, then you should use 8 gig fiber channel adapters, right? Well, let's see if there might not be a better option. Let's take a look at your scenario. You've got the legacy storage and a SAN environment that runs 8 gig fiber channel line rate. So it makes sense to install 8 gig fiber channel adapters like the HP 82Q from QLogic in the new HP ProLiant Gen 9 servers that are being deployed. Well, what happens if we utilize the latest Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters in the Gen 9 server instead? Here's the results of some tests that we ran for this scenario. Now in our test, we used a DL380P running uh, Windows 2012 R2 with an 82Q fiber channel HBA. This was connected to an 8 gig fiber channel SAN fabric using the HP Store Fabric 3000B fiber channel switch. To eliminate disk performance from impacting our test results and allowing us to look only at the server and adapter performance contribution, we used an SSD disk system with eight 4 gig fiber channel connections as our storage device. Then we ran random read-write operations using Iometer to look at the IOP and bandwidth performance of the overall system. The graph here shows you what we achieved in terms of IOP transaction performance with 8 gig fiber channel adapters. Close to 400,000 IOPs with small block size commonly associated with things like database queries and other applications that are very IO dependent. After gathering the data for the 8 gig adapter, we swapped out the 8 gig HPA with an HP Store Fabric SN1000Q 16 gig Gen 5 HPA from QLogic. As you can see, there's a significant improvement in IOP transaction performance. In database environments where transactions per second matter, the most common block size is 4 kilobytes. Here we see we had an increased IOP performance of close to 700,000 IOPS at that 4K block size. That's a 92% improvement in transaction performance simply by upgrading the HPA and leaving everything else alone. Now let's look at the bandwidth performance. With the 8 gig HPA, we have around 1500 megabytes per second at block size of 4K. In the test configuration, we maxed out at around 3000 megabytes per second using the 8 gig fiber channel HPA connected to the 8 gig fiber channel SAN. Now swapping out the, for a 16 gig HPA again, you can see that there's a significant improvement in performance in small block sizes. These increases are due uh, to the more powerful processors and increased memory within the 16 gig fiber channel adapter compared to that of an 8 gig adapter. So when doing a server upgrade or refresh, consider using 16 gig fiber channel HPAs to maximize your performance even when connected to legacy SAN and storage environments. In addition to the performance advantages we just talked about, Another advantage of deploying 16 gig fiber channel HPAs with your server upgrades today is that you're future proofing those servers for use tomorrow. When the time comes to deploy HP 3 par store serve all flash arrays and upgrade to HP store fabric 16 gig SAN fabrics, there's no need to make changes to the HP Gen 9 server configuration that you deployed earlier. So what 16 gig fiber channel adapters do we use in the Gen 9 servers? Well, for HP ProLine and Integrity Rack and Tower servers, use the HP Store Fabric SN1000Q from QLogic. And for the HP Blade System Gen 9 servers, 
use the HP QMH2672 16 gig fiber channel mezzanine adapters. These HP adapters from QLogic provide industry leading performance and backward compatibility with both 4 gig and 8 gig SAN environments. QLogic's dynamic power management provides an optimized power profile to save power and cooling costs of the overall system. All these adapters utilize port isolated design with dedicated processors and memory, as well as firmware for each port on the adapter for predictable per port performance and reliability. QLogic's proven driver and fiber channel stack ensures compatibility with thousands of storage and operating system combinations, and the use of a common driver and firmware installation saves time by eliminating any potential interoperability issues. For more information, access the HP microsite at www.qlogic.com slash go slash HP. Here you'll find lots of information on these products and technology that we talked about today, plus a lot more from HP and QLogic. Included on this website are white papers, data sheets, technology briefs, and more. If you're interested in HP-specific training on I.O. technology from QLogic, check out our HP training site at hp.qlogictraining.net. Here you'll find a variety of short on-demand training courses and you'll have the opportunity to gain certifications on HP and QLogic adapter technology. If you're a first-time user of this training site, be sure to use the access code shown here to view the HP-specific materials. Well, that's it for this session of Making I.O. Matter. I want to thank you for your time and attention, and if you have any questions, you can reach the team using the contact link on our HP QLogic website, or send us an email at hpsolutions at qlogic.com. Until next time, keep helping us make I.O. matter, and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.